Early this afternoon, the U.S. Treasury Department announced sanctions against Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, freezing his offshore assets and marking him as a full-blown international pariah. The designation came in response to an election last night that installed a new national assembly with the power to rewrite Venezuela's constitution. Most, if not all, of the 545 assembly members voted in are loyal to Maduro, and the cohort includes the president's wife and son. The vote, which American officials called a sham, also brought about the bloodiest day since protests against Maduro's government began in April. At least 16 people were killed yesterday. Maduro's camp announced the results at a rally last night in Caracas. Ben Anderson was there. President Nicolas Maduro arrived at Caracas's historic Bolivar Plaza around midnight. It's pretty incredible. This is the president announcing the great victory. Maduro's government claims 8 million people voted. Well, the opposition says only 2.1 million ballots were cast. With an approval rate of just 20%, the president will now control all branches of the country's government. President Trump's stern warnings against the move were ignored, and an emboldened Maduro had a message for him during last night's victory speech. Yesterday, while the government celebrated its victory, I met with opposition leader and vice president of the National Assembly, Freddy Guevara. How are you? Good. In trouble, but good. <laughs> You're in more trouble. Yes. Even more than yesterday. <laughs> Every day that passes, I'm in more trouble. The government clearly believes it can crush the opposition and the protest movement. Following yesterday's events, Venezuela will now face further isolation. Its economic collapse looks set to accelerate, and life for the long-suffering people here will get worse. Se está pasando mucha hambre. La gente la están botando del trabajo. Los niños andan buscando comida en la basura. 